Hey guys, I am so excited for this video because today I am unboxing my September and teacher pack for the whole year of my Funshine Express curriculum for my daycare kids and I'm so excited to take you guys along. But before we get into it, if you are new to our channel, hi, my name is Sarah. I run this YouTube channel where I try to really help busy moms, especially working moms and childcare providers, balance work, life, and everything in between to really maximize as much of life as possible. I love productivity, I love organizing, I love time management, and I love helping you make your life a little bit easier and more manageable. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you stick around and subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of our glue stick family. Now, I'm a daycare provider in our home, so I watch on any given day between like eight to 10 kids, sometimes less, um, just depending on numbers for the day. And I have two little girls of my own, and I do do a preschool curriculum throughout the school year with the kids. And I've loved Funshine Express for the last few years. And I absolutely love that I have a discount code for you guys to get $40 off your first time ordering. That can really help you try it out for a month and see if you like it or if you just know you want to jump ahead and get a whole year you can get forty dollars off so you can go and call in your order and tell them that sarah at work life glue sent you and give them the code wlg40 for forty dollars off i just love that they've offered this a lot of you guys have taken advantage of it and i think you better if you haven't tried it out and want to you better have a discount code um, it definitely makes it a lot more cost effective. I'm super excited to open this up and take you guys along. Okay, so the very first thing I see is the teacher pack and it says, welcome to Funshine Express. So let's see what's in there. Okay, so this is the actual teacher pack for the whole year. You just get this once at the start of the year. If you order it, I think you there is an option to not order it if you don't wanna buy the teacher pack monthly but I just like having it. You can save it from year to year, but I just like having a new fresh one every single year. So it has a little sheet going over what everything is. And this is the starter pack. And then it says there's also teacher pack, children's pack, and then what the online resources are. There's a little getting started guide that I will read later. Okay, so this year it looks like there is a fish theme last year was like a construction theme so this is like an underwater theme so you have your word wall and these are perforated and then you have these little special helper tags you can like put in put on some yarn and have the kids you know wear them you can put them on the wall i've never actually used them but if you have any good ideas of how to use them let us know um they started this last year oh sweet okay so they started this last year i'll show you guys you get one of these like concept cubes i think is what they call it and it's this cube dice basically and it's got a little slit in each one to put little squares and so every month they have different things you can put in them last year they separated all the letters each time you were learning them or like every couple months you'd get a set to practice this year awesome idea they actually put them all in the very beginning of the year so if you want to jump around or practice or whatnot you can because you'll have all the letters so that's really cool then they also have this roll again sing the alphabet choose any letter switch cards Ooh. so maybe there's a game that goes along with this so cool i'm excited to learn more about that but really cool that they all come at the beginning of the year then i see oh my gosh Maybe they did this last year. I think they did do this part last year where they give you all the numbers. I can't remember though. So here's all the numbers for the whole year you have at the start of the year and they're all different fish, which is cool. And this, I'll show you what this goes on in a second. Then there are also all the shapes. And then all the colors are different turtle shell colors. So that's really cute. I like how they did that. Um, and I like having them at the start of the year. Just I think it just makes me more organized. So what all of these go on this year is this big, like laminated on one side board. And so you just stick like the color on the turtle shell. You stick the number here in the water. You put the shape on the oyster shell. And there you go. So that's really, really cool. I like that. I think the kids will really like that theme this year. Um, last year, I just used painter's tape to stick the things on. I think, I don't know. This year, I might do Velcro just to make it last 
longer. I don't know though because you only use them for one month, so we'll see. But this thing lasts the whole year, but these individual things are only for one month. Okay, these are the same as last year. These are the weather pieces, so you have to cut these um, for all the different types of weather and the seasons. And then this looks exactly the same, although maybe the frame is a different color. I don't remember. So this is the weather chart. So you, um, there's these little tabs, so the whoever's, you know, the weather person for the day can move this up or down to what the weather is and the temperature, and then you place one of these cards for each day of the week, which I really like that. Here is the calendar for the year, also the same theme. And then each month you get the little cutouts for the days and they, at least last year, they all had a different theme for the month. So I really like that as well. And they're really good for learning patterns and sequences. Here is a nice um, learning and continuing development um, chart that kind of goes over all the standards and everything like that. Sweet. Oh my goodness. I don't think they did this last year. They're giving, I can't remember though. Maybe they did. I don't think they did. They're giving you all the letters for the entire year. I love that. I might actually just hang these up at the start of the year. And so all of them have the letter, the sign in sign language, and then a word that the kids would know that starts with that letter. So oh, I'm excited about that. Okay, so this is the journal for September. I believe last year they had different um, pictures, covers that matched the theme and it looks like it's going to be the same this year and I think this was actually the exact same book they used last year for September because it's back to school time. So these are really nice. Um, I don't like to do a lot of worksheets with the kids but I do like these because I don't do every page on them but I usually write the children's name so they can practice writing their name. There's this feeling, they can draw how they're feeling. These are in every single one. Then you have the weather outside if you want to do that and then whatever color you're learning you can color with that color. And then whatever letters you're learning that month, you can practice writing them. And there's some kind of like, sometimes there's a maze, sometimes it's counting, sometimes it's matching, um, little activity, the shape, more letters and numbers. Um, this one has draw the child, number three, and you can draw their home and then free writing. And then on the back is usually some kind of maze or activity. So those are pretty much the same as other years. Okay. Moving on. So here is the teacher pack for September. So every month you get a separate teacher pack if you order that, that has a lot of really great goodies. So I'm gonna show you what's in September is just to kind of give you an idea of what kinds of things would be in each month. But like I said, every month is different depending on the theme. And every year they use a different picture on the curriculum guide. So this year it's a little girl painting, which is really cute. Um, and this is what the curriculum guide looks like every single month. And this looks basically, oh, it looks a little different this year. The colors look different um, this year than it did last year. Last year was the first year they started doing was it three page, three pages per day, I wanna say. They did an extra page per day. Um, so that was really nice to get more ideas and have stuff spread out. And I love how it's in color, so you can see everything and it's really well laid out. They also, in the beginning, will kind of show you what your boards will look like, um, what the calendar pieces will look like, what letters to display and just some ideas for any kind of bulletin board display, which is really cute, really cool, and then what your um, like sign language words would be. So that's awesome. And then at the start of each, um, there's usually two themes per month, or they kind of usually go together in some way, but each half of the month there is a little, th oh no, this is different. Oh, this is a little thing that says start your day. And so it's showing you like what to do to start your day every single day. So that's cool. It's Oh, okay. So it's like basically the whole and the end of your day. So the things you should do at the beginning and the end of every day. Oh, okay. So this is different because it used to be a book list there. So maybe they moved that or just went away with it. I don't know. 
And then here they have, oh, here's the book list. Okay, so they have the book list. So this is different. The book list here and the word wall words you're gonna use and different ideas as well. They have dramatic play ideas for that theme, any steam discovery ideas. This is cool, this is all new. Um, music ideas and possible interactions, different um, ideas for like block learning and art exploration. And then it starts the actual day. So yeah, it looks like three pages per day again, but it definitely looks, it's set up differently. And so it kind of tells you what to do. Now, I don't personally do every single thing in here. I don't do a full day preschool. We do it about an hour, like 45 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on the day, depending on the kids. Some days we don't do it at all. Most days we do though. So um, I can't fit that all in, but we usually do like the circle time, the movement music, the craft, any of the worksheets, um, and the, you know, like the weather and stuff like that every day. So it has just really nice visuals to cue your memory because a lot of the stuff you don't need to read you're like oh yeah i need to do the weather oh yeah i got to do that craft today um but yeah so that's how it's set up so it looks like september the two themes are i am special and where we live which are great um, especially if you're just learning your kids and meeting them for the first time depending on your setting um yeah looks really really cool it looks like they're tying fall into this as well okay and then at the back of every one they have an overview of the whole year for buttercups and fireflies this is for fireflies i should have said that at the beginning so i do the older kids ages three to five but i usually do it for kids two and up i'll kind of adapt it for the younger ones so that's really nice so you know what's coming okay what else is in here there's always a book. So this year it is, this month it's leaf jumpers. So that's really cool. Love that. Ooh, two books. Okay, and this one, celebrating differences. Okay, so this one's about different abilities. That's really cool to teach kids that, you know, we're all different, but we're all special because that goes with the theme. Show that in a second. You get your month for your calendar board. You get an overview of the two themes and what you know kinds of things you're doing each day, which is nice. This they had last year too, but I thought it was really nice. It's a materials list, so any extra materials you're gonna need for each of those days. And that's if you do every single activity, but it is nice to reference. Here are the word wall words, they're perforated, you can rip them apart. Here are the calendar pieces for the month. So like I said, it's a sequence, so it's like red with a green hand, blue with a house, yellow with some leaves, and then it continues. So it's really nice to teach the kids sequences. Then we have the extra pieces that go along with the letters for the month. So we have those big pieces, but then there's little things that show what starts with each letter. So it looks like A, B, and C are our letters for the month of September. And then usually everything else is Stuff that kind of goes along with different games and things that happen in that month so you don't really know exactly what they're for until you read the curriculum guide but this is a board game that goes along with probably learning about your home it says heading home and there's four different um you know types of animals i guess and then four different homes so that's really cool so i'm sure with learning about homes you're also learning about different animals homes so that's cool and then i believe this goes along with it so it's a punch out dice and then the little pieces to move across the board it's got a little bent in shipping but this is different types of homes so that probably goes with some kind of activity or game there are these pieces this is probably about um the i am special so maybe they like draw one and you have to say your like favorite fruit or favorite veggie i'm not exactly sure because i haven't read the curriculum guide yet but these would all go with that there's the numbers one through six, and that goes on this blue dice, and the curriculum guide will explain like how to use this this month. This is nice. I'm gonna hang this up, laminate it, hang it up. These are the feelings, and I absolutely love the colors and how it's an actual child showing the feeling. So that is awesome. Okay, something they started last year are these 
card keepers and these cards. So you get this box. Um, I already have one from last year, but basically you put it together and it fits these cards. And these are really, really handy. Um, so you get every month a new set and they have sequences. So the sequence of building a, looks like a birdhouse, which is cool. They've got the numbers you're learning that month. And on one side is like a picture of something that's just the number. And then on the back they have like a diagram of it. And then, and they always fit with the theme, which is cool. And then for each day, there is a physical and health idea and um, some other kind of thing on the back that differs from day to day. So for example, for the first day, there is um, an around the circle. So you draw a large circle with sidewalk chalk or inside with yarn or tape and you have the kids gather around the circle and on the count of three, they hop inside, then hop backward and you talk about being inside the circle and outside the circle. And you can do like forward, backward, left, right, you know, stuff like that. So they're learning different directions, but also using movement because that's a huge way to learn and kids really remember more when they're moving. And this particular day they have a creative arts or music. So there's a song to help learn the circle, but other days there are like, um, let's see, there's rhymes. There are mostly songs and rhymes. It looks like, yeah, songs and rhymes. Okay. So that's every day and they're really cool. Cause you could just draw one. If you're looking for an activity to do with the kids, just pick one. On, in like the afternoon if even if you're not doing preschool time and do that activity and they're really easy and easy to take outside I love these so glad they're doing them again this year. So that's the whole September teacher pack. So let's walk through Oh, okay, and then we have the children's resources pack. So these Let's see So they have newsletters that go home with the kids every month and it's great it's kind of telling the parents what they're going to be learning what numbers what words what letters um, the sign language so they can reinforce it at home a little description of the theme some activity ideas for at home which i think are great some books book ideas um, songs and then a little recipe for apple crisp and then there's a little reminders thing in here if you want to write your own. I don't. I just hand this out to them because I do my separate newsletter, but these are great so the parents are informed of what they're learning that month. And then they always send like a little punch out. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if you can see what shape that is, but it's a, um, I'll just show you. There's three different size circles on here, so you can use them um, in different ways and they give you ideas in the curriculum guide. Okay. So moving on, I think, to the crafts. I'll kind of show you guys. And then you also get, um, at the start of the year, maybe? Yeah, you get all the um, card keeper tabs to organize it. Okay, so let's look at some of the crafts. And I will show you what they look like in the curriculum guide so you know like what they actually will turn into. What I really like also, is on the little sheet that describes the craft. It tells you what day it's for and what page in the curriculum guide. So that makes it a lot easier when you're actually teaching to know what page in the book. So this is called the name headband and it looks like this. So that it helps the kids learn the letters of their name. It's a headband, it's got little crayons on it. And so what you get with it are the little name tags, the green paper that you cut into strips or have the kids cut or you can draw lines and they can cut and little stickers for them to put on like bright fun unique are the different stickers so that's really cool okay there's a grandparent gift i like that they include um, grandparent gifts mother's day father's day all that kind of stuff as well so this says i will always love you um, from september 5th that's page 15. so it will look like this when you're all done, so that's really cute. I am special necklace for the next day. So when you're all done, it looks like that. 
Sometimes they put two in one if they don't have a lot of pieces. So A is for Apple and Superstar. Oh, they are doing it again. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Last year they didn't do any letter crafts like this. Um, so I bought a kit and I bought a kit again this year, but it looks like unless it's just for September, but it looks like each month they will have a little half sheet where you may turn the letter into something that um, starts with that letter. So I like to keep them and make a little book at the end of the year. So that's cool. Oh, I guess I maybe bought it for no reason. Let's see if they do it for letter B. They do it for letter B. So they must do it all year. So don't buy the kit if you buy this. Um, not to stop. I'll save it. I'll just do it for a different year if they don't do it the next year or... Um, I don't really know, but just an extra kit to keep around. So that's cool. Oh, they have a family tree on page 27. Oh, that's cute. So it looks like that. And then another thing to note when you're looking at um, the little sheet that comes with it with each craft. It tells you what materials you'll need from the kit, but also the suggested materials that you will have to have around. Usually it's just, um, you know, paint, crayons, markers, aprons, stuff like that, scissors, glue, um, but it's just nice to know what you'll have to get out at the start of the day to make sure you have them ready. But pretty much everything else comes with, and that's why I love Funshine so much because I don't have to go do any random shopping at all these different craft stores and figure it all out on my own. It's just sent to me, ready to go. It makes my life so much easier. They do, um, usually a couple times a month, have crafts that you know they don't provide the materials for, but it, they're pretty easy to replicate or do with stuff you have, but I usually just don't do them because I usually have a day of like sensory bins or whatever where the kids just do like an open-ended activity. So keep that in mind as well. And then they also do a lot of like, um, you know, fine motor skill kind of crafts and stuff like this. So they have this like lacing activity with the smaller yarn and everything so that they're learning those skills as well. So guys, that's the whole um, first box from Funshine. I'd love to know if you want to see more about Funshine throughout the year, let me know. And if my comments are disabled, make sure you head over to our community tab and find the thumbnail for this video and you can leave any comments there since YouTube has disabled our comments. Um, but I love to keep the conversation going. So head over there if you want to continue to share and keep the conversation going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love these kind of videos and I look forward to doing more of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.